Okay, so I'm taking some shots at sea to Swiss Harbour. Um, the idea is, is that I have the harbour mouth and the water leading into the shot, um, and then we've got the lights off at Blythe. Uh, hopefully that also means I get the plough in the shot. What I've noticed is I did some shots yesterday and just to see what would happen. Uh, the moon was obviously not as large as it is today and the upshot of that is combined with the fireworks going off because it's November the 5th um, I've had to change my aperture from 2 to 5.6 leaving my ISO at 400 to keep the noise down um, and leaving the exposure to 2 now I can get away with that because arguably pushing the lens to 4 or 5.6 as an f-stop means that I'm in or closer to the sweet spot so there should be less aberrations. The other thing I've got to take account is I'm in a bottle 5 zone and you might wonder well, why am I trying to take pictures of the stars in the bottle 5. Well it's half an hour to an hour to a bottle 3 area um, and sometimes you haven't got time to do that. So you think well what can I do and one of the advantages of being in a light polluted area is that the other stars aren't there so you can take a picture of an asterism and it'd be very clear without other stars getting in the way and possibly skewing the picture for people to look at who aren't really that familiar with stars everybody recognizes a plough but buried in amongst the stars a bit more difficult so there are some advantages to being in a light polluted area depending on how you look at it So I, uh, yeah, I talk a good talk, don't I? Uh, actually, what happened was I uh, spent so much time messing around trying to do the filming because I obviously don't know what I'm doing. Um, I managed to mess up all my shots. So the picture you're seeing on the screen at the moment is actually an amalgamation of three different shots which I put together using the Affinity Photo. Um, a, quite a long drawn out process learning how to do masks etc and then I presented it to my wife and she said yeah don't like it which was nice after all the time it took for us to do it um, so I thought to myself well okay what have I learned from that I've learned a lot about masks etc so I thought my next video would be uh, demonstrating how I use three different photographs to do a composite using Affinity Photo which is quite a good piece of software um, relatively inexpensive compared to Photoshop but I'm sure most of the things I've done can be replicated on Photoshop so if you're like me at the beginning stage of your astro career and you fancy watching that then that'll be coming out soon so thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed then give me a like if you liked it a lot then maybe subscribe and Hopefully I'll have a couple of videos out, the one I've just mentioned and, and one where I took some Milky Way photographs after getting lost in the dark, which is, well, I found it quite entertaining anyway. So thanks again for watching and clear skies.